Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have x to the third power minus 8 is equal to 0. And we have to find all the possible solutions to this problem. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. One way to solve this problem is to make x to the third power the subject. So we have 8 over here. So this could also be written as x to the third power is equal to 2 to the third power. Now taking the cube root on both sides, we have cube root over here, then cube root over here as well. Okay, so this one will take care of this. Now we have x is equal to, then this one will cancel this. We have 2 over here. So x is equal to 2. But is this the only solution to this problem? The answer is no. We have some other solutions. So in this video, we will figure out all the solutions to this problem. So now let's get started. I will write this equation as x to the third power minus 2 to the third power is equal to 0. All right. If you have a to the third power minus b to the third power, this can be expressed as a minus b, then a to the second power plus a times b plus b squared. All right. So I'll express this in the form of this. So we have x to the third power minus 2 to the third power is equal to x minus 2, then x to the second power plus x times 2 is nothing but 2x, then plus 2 squared, which is 4, and this is equal to 0. So at this point, we can say that x minus 2 is equal to 0, or x to the second power plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. So now let's tackle this first. We have x minus 2 is equal to 0. So from here, making x the subject, we have x minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 2. So this one will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to 2. So this is one of the valid solutions to this problem. Now let's come to this equation over here. Here we have x to the second power plus 2x plus 4 is equal to 0. And as you can see, this is a quadratic equation. So we will compare it to the general quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, where a is never equal to 0. All right. So now we can compare the coefficient. By comparing the coefficient, you can see that we have a equals 1, b equals 2, and then c equals 4. All right. So now that we know the coefficient of this quadratic equation, let's plug these values into the general quadratic formula, which is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. All right. So from here, we have x equals minus b, where b is 2, then plus or minus square root of b, where b is 2, then squared is 4, minus 4 into a, where a is 1, then c is 4, all right, all divided by 2a, where a is 1. So this is it, all right, so now let's simplify this. We have x equals minus 2 plus or minus square root of now we have negative 4 times 1 is negative 4 times 4 is negative 16 plus 4 is negative 12. So we have negative 12 over here all divided by 2. Now from this side we have x equals minus 2 plus or minus square root of 12 times square root of negative 1 all divided by 2. All right, and one important thing you should know is that square root of negative one is imaginary, which is i, all right? So the equation now becomes x equals negative two plus or minus square root of 12i all over two. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and then simplify this. We have x equals negative 2 plus or minus. Square root of 12 could also be written as square root of 4 times square root of 3, then this i all over 2. All right, so we have x equals negative 2 plus or minus. Square root of 4 is nothing but 2, then times square root of 3, then i all divided by 2. So let's go ahead and then split this fraction. So we have x equals negative 2 on 2 plus or minus. We have 2 root 3i all over 2. So here we have x equals negative 2 on 2 is negative 1, then plus or minus. Then this 2, we take care of this. So we have root 3 over here, then i. Now this means that x is either negative 1 plus root 3i or x equals negative 1 minus root 3i. So in all we have x equals 2 negative 1 plus 3i then negative 1 minus root 3 i all right so guys this is the final answer i hope you enjoyed watching this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel thanks a lot for watching see you again on the next video